Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. For some days now, Martha Karu has been causing some excitement on the mountain. And that excitement seems to be working to the advantage of Raila Molo Odinga, but to the disadvantage of William Ruto. Raila seems to be gaining popularity on the mountain as William Ruto's popularity declines. So that excitement by Martha Karua seems to have scared William Ruto and his brigade. So today, William Ruto took his presidential campaigns to Kirinyaga County. And upon taking the campaigns there, Purit Ingrishi tweeted something or rather made a post, a post that if you look at it carefully, Purit Wangwe Ingrishi seems to be targeting William Ruto's campaigns in Kirinyaga today. So in this video, I want us to have a look at that post, after which, as usual here, we are going to dissect it to see exactly the kind of a message Purit Ingrishi is trying to pass across to Kenyans. Because from the post again, Purity Ingrishi is not coming out clearly onto what he might be trying to pass out. But in this video, I want us to dig deep to dissect it to see the exact message Purity Ingrishi is passing out to Kenyans. But before we do that, in case you've bumped here for the very first time, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. Some few hours ago, Purity Ingrishi had this to say. Wangu Ingrishi. Wageni wote wanakaribishwa kirinyaga. We are independent, but we still know where to cast our vote for the presidency. Kirinyaga Kwanza. That's Wangu Ingrishi. And that post, if you look at it, is very clear and obvious. Purity Ingrishi is actually targeting or attacking William Ruto's rally today in Kirinyaga County. So in this video, I want us to understand the message Purity Ingrishi is trying to pass out to Kenyans. Yes. The first thing I'm seeing here, for Purity Ingrishi to state that Wageni Wote Wanakaribishwa Kirinyaga, Purity Ingrishi might be trying to mean two things. The first thing she's trying to mean, she means that Rigadi Gashagwa comes from Kirinyaga, not Kirinyaga, comes from Nyeri. So if he comes to Kirinyaga, he is a visitor, he is a gaining, same to William Ruto. That is one thing I'm seeing here. And then secondly, I'm seeing Purity Ingrishi trying to refer to the crowd that accompanied and welcomed William Ruto in Kirinyaga today. Because it has been proved and even confirmed from very reliable sources that in a majority of William Ruto's rallies, they always ferry and carry people from outside to create a perception that they have a very big following in the rallies they are attending. And that is something we have been seeing for quite some time to a point. We have proved and confirmed that indeed, in most of William Ruto's rallies, he always ferry people from outside to that area is going to do, conduct a rally to create a perception that his rallies are always very big. And that was also proved sometimes back when Dennis Itumbi, Oda's propagandist, actually posted some photos that were later proved to be very false and fake photos. And that has also been proved by Cleophas Malala and lawyer Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi posting fake photos. Same to Didmas Baraza and Boni Alwale. All these are leaders who have been caught red-handed posting fake photos fake photos and fake videos. So Purity Ingrishi is trying to refer to those issues. First of all, he's trying to confirm, or rather just to tell Kenyans, 
that Ruto and Rigathi Gashagwa ni wageni Kirinyaga. And then secondly, he, she is trying to refer to the crowd that might have accompanied Ruto, accompanied Ruto in Kirinyaga. They might have been ferried from outside to create a perception that Ruto has some support in Kirinyaga. And then if you look at this post again, Kirit Ingrishi continues, we are independent, but we still know where to cast our vote for the presidency. Kirinyaga Kwanza. Yes, what is Spirit Ingrishi trying to insinuate there? Because she's not coming out very clearly, but deep inside her, there is a message she's trying to pass out. We are independent, but we still know where to cast our, pres our vote for the presidency. Kirinyaga Kwanza. When she says Kirinyaga Kwanza, I think Purity Ngrishi, in my honest opinion, is now trying to look at William Ruto's ticket and that of Raila Karua ticket. Which ticket is most likely to benefit the good people of Kirinyaga, assuming any of the sides win? The answer is very simple and very clear, very straightforward. Should Raila Karua win, then most definitely Kirinyaga is most likely going to benefit because their own daughter is going to be part of the presidency, as opposed to a situation where William Ruto regarded ticket wins. So in this case, by purity English, saying Kirinyaga Kwanzaa, I'm just seeing a clever purity English trying to endorse Raila Martha Karua ticket. That's why she's stating Kirinyaga Kwanza. In that should Raila Karua win, then Kirinyaga as a county, they are rest assured of the position of the deputy president. So actually Kirinyaga is going to benefit there. So this is just a clever way by Wangwing Rishi Kirinyaga women representative to actually endorse a Raila Martha Karua ticket. And also as I talk right now, ladies and gentlemen, things are getting a little bit slippery for William Ruto and his brigade on the mountain. If you look at Kirinyaga County, in fact, the latest opinion polls are clearly indicating that Raila's popularity is rising very, very fast in Kirinyaga County. And the likes of Purity Ngirishi might actually also be feeling that, uh, that reality on the ground. And also a latest opinion poll also suggests that if a gubernatorial election was to be done in Kirinyaga, then Wangui Ngirishi could easily beat Anu Waiguru. And that has been informed by a good majority of those of Martha Karua supporters who are initially supporting Martha Karua, a good number of them are now opting to vote for Wangui Ngrishi or rather to support Wangui Ngrishi. And that is because Wangui Ngrishi is not very hostile or very, very harsh on Azimio, rather on Raila Molo Odinga, as opposed to Anwe Guru, who upon joining William Ruto, she has actually adopted the abrasive and the and the arrogance actually was being seen with the likes of William Ruto in order party. So a good majority of Martha Karua supporters, they prefer voting for Wangwing Rishi as the governor. So I'm seeing some kind of uh, some kind of a friendly eh, some kind of friendliness between Wangwing Rishi supporters and Martha Karua supporters in Kirinyaga. And from where I see it, they can just join hands or other efforts to make sure that they all cast their votes for Raila Molo Odinga and also to vote for Wangwe English. So that leaves Anwe Guru in a very precarious situation. She can actually fall victim just as a result of Anwe Guru, of Martha Karua and Purity English actually joining hands against her in Kirinyaga County. And then naturally, before I conclude, 
If also you look at Kirinyaga County, it's just commonsensical that if there is a place most likely Raila Molo Odinga will easily win on the mountain, something tells me strongly that place is Kirinyaga County. And I'm saying that because the people of Kirinyaga will actually win. Between William Ruto and Raila Molo Odinga, who is most likely to win the president? And even from the, the real political, or rather the latest political reality we are witnessing, it's almost very clear and very certain that Raila Odinga is actually going to beat William Ruto. So with that realization, I'm seeing a good majority of residents of Kirinyaga being persuaded into voting for Raila Molo Odinga. Yes, simply because maybe of their daughter, Martha Karua. They cannot afford to lose that post of a vice, or rather a deputy president. A good majority of them, from where I sit, will most definitely endorse, or rather support, Raila Molo Odinga. And that is the kind of um, a wisdom maybe Raila Molo Odinga had actually seen. It's something that a good majority of us were actually not seeing. But uh, I can confirm that he's actually doing miracles on the mountain. And it's just a, a matter of time before even the whole mountain actually starts singing the Azimio kind of a song. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, let me leave it there for today. In case you've bumped here for the very first time, kindly subscribe. Give this video a like.